Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the third part of the sixth lecture of statistics and probability theory. We will continue with the topic reliability of the system with examples. Example number four. Reliability of components is given. Find the probability that system fails if component works or fail independently we have a system here we have five components a b c d e each component have its working probability that is 0.7 is the probability that a will work 0.7 is the probability that B component will work. 0.8 is the probability that C component will work. 0.8 is the probability that D component will work. 0.8 is the probability that E component will work. If you can see from the diagram that this is parallel system, like we can start from the here and go in this direction. The system will work reliable, reliable and also we can start from here and continue in this direction we will reach till the end. So this system can work in two ways either this way or this way. Now first we consider we split the diagram in two parts. That is, this is the first part. And this one is the second part. Like this. As F component and as G component. Like this part, whole part is named as F. And this whole part is named as G. What we have done. We have just split them in two parts and named them as we split this part as and named it F and this part and named it as G. Now what we will do? We first we will find that the entire system will work probability. Let represent it with W. So if we want to find the probability of F, that is component F will work. We know that this A and B is named as component F. We have to find this component will work probability. So it means both component A and B should work so that component F will be in working condition. So probability of F will be equal to probability of A and B which is equal to probability of A intersection B. As we know from the statement of the question that both components, uh, that all the components works or fails independently. So we can write from the, by using the multiplicative law of independent events that probability of A intersection B will be equal to probability of A into probability of B. Which we know that 0 0.7 into 0 0.7 which is 0 0.49. Now if we want to find the probability that this entire part will work, we have named it as G. So we have to find the probability of G. So it means C and D and E should work together. So probability of C and D and E which will equal to probability of C intersection D intersection E. Which will be equal to as we know that the all the components 
work independently. So it will be equal to 0 0.8 into 0 0.8 into 0 0.8, which is equal to 0 0.512. Now, if we want to find the probability that entire system will work, system will work either in this way or either in this way. So, this would be equal to probability that F, if we want to find the probability that entire system will work, probability of W, which will be equal to probability of F, Or W, which will be equal to probability F union W. Sorry, it would not, uh, it would be G. I have mentioned here wrong. This is G. As W is the probability that entire system will work and it depends on F or G. Like this. So now the entire system looks like this. F or G. As we know from the addition law of probability that probability F probability F union G will be equal to probability of F plus probability of G minus probability of F intersection G. As we know that probability that F component will work is 0.49 and probability that G component will work is 0.512 and we know that all the components are working together so probability F intersection G will be equal to probability F into probability of G as we know that F and G both are independent events. This is mentioned in the statement of the question. So it would be equal to 0.49 into 0.512 by simplifying this we will get 0.75112. So this is the probability that the entire system will work. But if we go back to the statement, we have to find the probability that the system fails. We have to find the probability that system fails. So we, now what we have done, we have find that the probability that entire system will work. So what would be the probability that entire system will fail? As we know that total probability is 1. So probability let W bar represents that entire system will fail. It would be equal to 1 minus probability of entire system works. We are using here law of complementation. If you remember the set theory, you know that one is there is universal set. If A is any set, any other set which is the subset of the universal set. So what would you do to find the A complement? You simply do universal set minus A. It will give you complement. Now as we know that total probability is 
1. So, you will minus the probability of uh, the entire system work from the 1. You will get the probability that the entire system fails, which is equal to 1 minus 0 0.75 double 1 2. This is the probability that entire system fails.